Good evening, everybody. My name is Anthony, and today I'm going to talk about the crime and safety here at Ball State University. Now, to start this off, I know many college towns aren't the prettiest and most attractive towns. So my first topic and point of this discussion is that most violent crimes in Ball State or Muncie are murder, rape, robbery, assault, and those are 20% increased by this past year especially stabbings in the suburban areas of Muncie. The second point I would like to make clear is that most property crimes that happen are burglary, larceny, auto, theft, and burglary, and those have increased by 56.3% in the past year. Now, as a student, I find that very alarming. I'm sure many other people don't feel safe when they hear those stats, so we need as a community, we need to come up with a way to lower those numbers. And my last point to this is that the United States average violent crime is 23%, and Muncie's at 20%, and with property, they're at 35%, while Muncie's at 56%. So by the look of this, it's shown that Muncie's crime rate is higher than the average of the United States, which puts Muncie as a more dangerous place to be. Today I'm with Isaiah Decker. He's a freshman here at Ball State and he lives at Stu West, where there's constantly, I don't know, things going on, would you say? Yes, I'd say there's, um, throughout the week, there's cops out there in the parking lot. I mean, I don't know what's going on. Right. But it's definitely not something definitely you want to see every day. Yes. Yeah, I guess to start this off, my first question would be is, do you feel safe at Ball State? I mean, when I'm on campus, yes. Off campus, not as much. What What would drive you to say off campus? Off campus, I mean, you're running in with like the locals and you know, the locals, you can't really. They're definitely bad news. Definitely sometimes. bad news. Yeah. Um, they, I've seen some crazy things, believe yes. me. Um, what do you, what do you notice throughout Muncie constantly every day that's like that's a negative issue negative issue I mean I hear sirens like every day it seems that's like a good point you know see ambulances cops flying by yeah so I want to add a safety mechanism at Ball State University I know there are the emergency poles where you press a button and it calls 911 and you run to the nearest station and press it and it tracks you but for everybody that may not be around those, I came up with equipping every student with a can of pepper spray. Each can of pepper spray costs $10.86. Buy roughly 15,000 students, put those two together, it comes out to $162,900. So that may sound alarming because of the yearly budget Ball State gets with students, but I don't think there would be a financial issue with adding in a can of pepper spray for every student regarding their safety.